It's Steve on the Guru Brew 2 with some more tech questions and answers. This one is from Armat, and the title of the question is Choosing Between Service Pack 1 or Service Pack 2. It says, I keep receiving the Windows update for Service Pack 2. Should I install it or keep Service Pack 1? I have heard a few people saying after installing Service Pack 2 that some of the programs did not work correctly or lost a few files. What should I do? Well, thanks for the question. That's uh, a good question. You know, let's talk about what Windows Update is and then we'll talk about maybe some solutions. So Windows puts out their products and in the course of time, bugs are found and problems and security holes are revealed from their millions of users and they're reported and tri trickle in slowly. So what happens is they patch or fix the troubles in order of importance. So something that's a big security breach is going to be fixed right away, whereas if something is just a small bug, they may wait and fix it. Either way, that's what the, the Windows updates are for. And as time goes on and they accumulate maybe a hundred different patches or updates, they'll wrap them up into something called a service pack. And that one service pack will contain maybe 100 or more window fixes or updates. It's just a big package all bundled together. So like Windows XP has Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, and Service Pack 3. Windows XP has had a long life and so there's three different packages in all. Oftentimes you have to take Service Pack 1 and then install Service Pack 2 before you can install Service Pack 3 of course. You have to do them in order. And each operating system is a little bit different in the rules. As far as people uh, losing files and programs not working correctly, this can happen, although um, the circumstances have to be just right for it to uh, be a problem. But, you know, it can happen. So if you're going to do service packs, yeah, you should probably back up your computer first. If it's working properly now, um, what I recommend is just going to Windows Updates and looking through the list and seeing what's available for your computer. And you could actually take the updates and disregard the uh, service pack altogether. What happens is if your computer has all the updates, it'll still warn you that you need to install the service pack even though you already have all the updates that are included in that service pack. So, you know, on your computer, you can go into your control panel or in the search window if you're using Windows 7. You can type in Windows Update and then click on the Windows Update program. From here, you can check the updates with this button right here. And it will go through your computer and look for any updates and it will rank them in order of importance. And the ones that are critical, you should go ahead and download and install. The ones that are optional, I wouldn't worry about that much unless you want to. And if all the updates are taken and it's still asking you for a service pack, then you can go ahead and just disregard the service pack message. So I hope that clears up some information for you. It's not really necessary to take the service pack as long as all the updates are taken because the service pack, of course, just contains all the updates. So I hope that answers your question, Arnott, and thank you for the question. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.